Hey guys, this is Mau Mau, and um, not really a surprise to you, but if it's a surprise, I don't know. I, I decided to to have a gameplay and commentary ready for when I get home from my cruise. So, um, yeah, this is being recorded while I'm on a cruise ship right now. And I've actually already recorded a commentary, but it, I didn't really like it that much. I just decided to redo a new one. I spent too much time talking about random information that you wouldn't really care about. So I'm just going to kind of tell you the the um, most exciting and important events that have happened on the, um, the boat so far. One of them hasn't been, um, actually two of them haven't been very good. One of them's kind of depressing. Um, I'll just get to that later because it happened yesterday. Uh, when we got on the boat on Saturday, we got on about 12.15 and we didn't get to our rooms until about 1.30. So we had about an hour and 15 minutes in between. So we just kind of hung around the room, or not the room, the boat. We just kind of like walked around the boat and looked at everything. Me and my friend Tiffany did. We went and checked everything out. And this boat's really um, amazing. There's a lot on it. They have they have a gym. They have a pool. But they have one really, really small pool. And there's like 3,000 people on this boat. And they have one tiny-ass pool. It's kind of stupid. And they have like two or three hot tubs. and they, But they all close at 11, which is really stupid because... You know, you want to get in the hot tub or the pool or sometime later, and everything's closed. It's kind of stupid. But there's, fortunately, there's a lot to do on the boat. There's shows, and there's, um, like, a nightclub, and there's a karaoke bar, and um, there's food. There's always food. There's, yeah, we ate a lot. <laughs> um, but that was basically the first day, was just kind of getting acquainted with the boat and, and, um, and all that. We got lost once or twice. We didn't really get lost, but it, <laughs> it yeah, it's just a long story. Um, the second day was just the day that was the sea day, as they like to call it, which is just the day at sea, um, which is such a misleading name, obviously. Uh, but that day we just kind of laid out. Um, I'm not really big on tanning. I've never really cared about tanning. That's why I'm so pale. Um, so yeah, I didn't really, I wasn't too crazy about that. We we put our bathing suits on and went out and sat in the sun for a little while and I was worried I was going to get sunburnt, which I didn't actually. Um, not that day anyways. That that day was basically just that, was just kind of like laying out and of course there was dinner and, and all that, but it wasn't really an eventful day. The next day, which was Monday, was when we got to Half Moon K, which is carnival's um private island that they own and that that was i mean it wasn't that big of an eventful day it was basically just sitting at the beach all day so it was like you went from sitting to in the water to sitting to in the water and the i don't know the highlight of my day which wasn't really a highlight it was kind of actually kind of bad I got super sunburnt like really bad sunburnt all over my body my feet are sunburnt and my ankles <clears throat> are sunburnt uh, the fronts of my legs are actually yeah I'm just looking at my leg right now and it's like the front sunburnt the back's not that's gonna be awesome uh, my thighs are sunburnt my legs are pretty much burnt all the way from the bottom to the top my arms are burnt uh, my shoulders are burnt really really bad my chest is burnt really, really bad. It's really tender and sore. And um, the back's burnt. My nose and my forehead are burnt. So I got pretty sunburnt. Even though I had a bunch of people tell me not to. Like uh, Lefty, he told me that his first time on the cruise, he got drunk and ended up getting burned pretty bad. But yeah, he could drink. So he didn't really have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, sunburns suck. The rest of the day... Well, we went, we did go horseback riding. We went horseback riding on the beach, um, and it was, um, it was pretty fun, but it was, I was burnt, so it wasn't awesome. I love horses, so it was an awesome experience for me, um, but it would have been better if I wasn't in pain the entire time. So once we came back, the rest of the day was just kind of miserable because I was, I was burning and in pain and, and all that, but I still managed to do some things. I didn't sit in the room the rest of the night like I planned on. Yeah, I was kind of forced to get out of the room. Um, the next day was the day we were supposed to go to um, Nassau in the Bahamas. And here's where the depressing information comes in at. Um, 
my mom came in the room right before we were about to leave, and um, apparently my grandmother had died earlier that morning, so um, yeah, my grandmother's gone. Um, I don't know. I cried a little bit. I don't want to seem like I'm really heartless or anything. My parents divorced when I was seven or eight. I was, I, I was eight. They divorced when I was eight, and so I haven't really known my grandmother. It was my, my dad's mom. I live with my mom, so I haven't really, I don't know, been around my grandmother that much my entire life. And You know, I cried a little bit, and I'm sad, but it's not like the devastating thing like it was when my grandfather died. I can tell you that story in another video if you want. That's kind of a depressing story, too, but... So my grandmother died. Hopefully they'll, they won't have the funeral till Friday or the weekend so I can go. Um, so after all that drama went down, we got off the boat, went to the Bahamas, and that was a lot of walking, a lot of sweating, a lot of heat. I was sunburnt, so I was burning the entire time. Uh, we went shopping, though. Uh, where does my, where's my stuff at? I don't know. I'm trying to find what all I bought. I bought, like... Four necklaces. Um, I bought a, a defected coach purse for like fifty dollars, and I wasn't aware that I was gonna have to haggle with people. I've never been to like um, a country or a flea market where people were like, you have to haggle. So yeah, I ended up getting like um, a super expensive purse for fifty dollars, which wasn't that bad. Um, after what did I do after that? I don't know. We went to this place called Senior Frogs. And we were going to go back later that day because we can get drunk there. Because we're only, me and my friend are only 18. So we can't drink on the boat. But in the Bahamas, you can drink at whatever age you want. So we were going to go back and get drunk. But we didn't. We ended up going anyways, though. Um, and my mom's ex-boyfriend bought us both a drink. I got this thing called a zombie. which A zombie, which had like amaretto and orange juice and something else in it. I can't remember what it was. It was pretty good. I like downed it really quick and didn't feel the damn thing, which is kind of depressing. I wanted a little bit of a buzz. So that didn't happen. Um, then we went to this place called... Um, sorry, I'm stretching. <laughs> we went to this place called um, Atlantis, which is this huge, expensive resort. It's got um, this huge casino in it, um, one million dollar glass sculptures, really expensive restaurants. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's got aquariums. It's got sharks. It's got all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, I was like I said, it was it was hot outside and I was burning, so I didn't really enjoy it too much. We ended up eating lunch there though, and then we went back to the boat. Well, while we were on the, you have to like ride um a little bus back to the to the place where they let you off at near the boat. Um, we ended up getting stuck in traffic, and let me just tell you what: people in the Bahamas drive like maniacs. It's crazy. They cut each other off. They pull out in front of each other. I personally could not live there and drive because I would get really, really pissed off because I have road rage, like really bad road rage. I always cuss and dig my nails into the steering wheel. So yeah, that was, yeah, they're crazy drivers. But we ended up getting stuck in traffic on the way back from um, from Atlantis. And then a little boy on the bus decided that he felt sick, so he decided to throw up on the bus. And he was sitting in front of it, so it kind of rolled backwards a little bit, but it didn't end up getting on me, thank God. So anyways, that's the end of this video. I'll have an, um, another one up soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will, um, I'll talk to you later.